My name is David Franco from DavidFran.co. That's my personal website linked right below. And this is my very long overdue house tour. All right, let's jump right into it, guys. I have not done a proper tour of this house yet. At least I don't believe I have. So let's get started. Here's my deck, which typically gets covered by a bunch of leaves from this very large tree. I believe we're gonna cut down that tree eventually, but for now, it's not a big deal. It provides plenty of shade. And I have this table out here with these chairs so I can chill and look at the mountains. Yes, there's mountains way out there. And there's my backyard. All right. Not that exciting, right? My back door, which was not here when I moved in. I got this installed after the fact. And I gotta say, I love this door because of that. On the cool days, I like to open that window as well as that window over there. And you get a nice little cross breeze. Now this is my real front door. I live upstairs. It's a carriage house in Amish country. So yes, yeah, so it's a very old fashioned house. This is not your typical house which I guess makes it more interesting. You walk upstairs and first thing you see is my kitchen. It's not a huge kitchen, but it's definitely nicer and larger than my old kitchen. Got my Keurig over there. That thing sees a lot of usage. I got my dishes, blah, blah, blah. There's a Mac Mini I'll be taking over to the office down the street, actually within a few minutes of recording this video. Plenty of cabinet space. Definitely more cabinet space than I need. Kind of an old microwave, an old stove, but you know what? They get the job done. New toaster oven I bought once I moved in. Fairly new toaster. I bought this within the last year. Works great. Plenty of counter space. I could use more though, but hey, it's more than what I had previously. Got my Echo Show right here. I'm a huge fan of the Echo Show. Alexa, hello. Hi. A little bit of a delay there. Alexa. What's today's news? Here's your flash briefing. In tech news, the Los Angeles subway system okay. will become the first Alexa, in the U.S. Stop. And honestly, I love the Echo Show because I enjoy seeing what I'm hearing. And it's really nice to see my photos throughout the day. It's kind of like a daily flashback of my life. Little family photo right there. There's my iPhone 10 or iPhone X, some people like to say. Maui's Tower, which has seen a ton of usage over the past two years. And yeah, I'm planning on getting him a brand new one soon. As you can see, it's seen better days. But hey, he loves it and he uses it obsessively. Little Amish trash can right there. Fridge, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. Plenty of space for what I need. And of course the freezer, <laughs> I just kind of like throw food in there. It's not the largest freezer, but hey, it works. I'm grateful for what I have. Sheets, definitely a huge Sheets fan and a huge Wawa fan and a huge Rudders fan. I love my convenience stores. Over here, I got a bunch of G Fuel stuff. And check this out. A viewer actually took the time to sketch Maui. This is incredible. Look at that. Is that not amazing? So shout out to the person who did this. Their signature is right there. Keep up the amazing work. Got some old Angry Birds stuff up there. I don't have the neatest kitchen, but hey, I'm a dude. So there you go. Maui's little eating section. Plenty of video games right here. PlayStation 4 collection, 3DS collection, Switch collection, Xbox One collection. Blu-rays, which I rarely use because I pretty much stream everything nowadays. Uh, Wii U collection, Xbox 360 collection, some random tech that I haven't used yet. Um, spare Amiibo, some Skylanders figures, all that stuff, Lara Croft. Um, I believe this is, uh, is, is, is that Drake from Uncharted? I think it is. Some books. Simplicam, which isn't working anymore. I cannot find the app. I'm not sure why. But I do have a drop cam watching my house at all times, so God forbid something does happen. I'll catch it. And shout out to another viewer of mine, Robbie. Dude, this is one of the nicest things I've ever received from anyone. Now, unfortunately, that got wet at some point. I think Maui may have done it. I'm not entirely sure, which is kind of ironic considering Maui's in the picture. So, uh, Robbie, if, if you're seeing this, do you possibly have a copy of that that you could send me? I would gladly pay for shipping, and of course I'll give you credit right below in, you know, in, a, in a future vlog. So reach out to me, please. 
because it really, really means a lot to me. Uh, but I want it to be perfect again, and unfortunately, it, it, got, it got wet. Now, thankfully, it doesn't look too bad wet. It actually kind of blends in in an artistic kind of way. So, there's that. Anyway, back to the living room. I got dual subwoofers. Got Polk Audio Tower speakers, which do have fur on the bottom because Maui tends to rub against them. But that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't affect the performance. Of course, I'll defer that soon. There's my 65-inch Samsung 4K HDR TV. The best TV I have ever bought myself. I love this TV. Got some rare, rare, rear speakers back here. Of course, there's a little Godzilla figure. Uh, my center Polk Audio channel. Onkyo receiver, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One X. Gotta be honest though, I don't really use my consoles out here as much as I used to. Mainly because of my Twitch setup, I'll get there in a bit. Record player, or vinyl, that's what some people, you know, prefer to say nowadays. Apple TV 4K, I love this thing. It gets usage daily. A little dusty though. And Nintendo Switch dock, number one. Nintendo Switch dock number two is in my room. And there's my living room. I mean, it's very small. Uh, I got my Macro Pro over there, some um, emoji, and not a very good futon. I mean, it looks nice. It actually looks great. But the thing is, the second I take that off, Maui will try to dig his claws into it, and believe me, he's done it before. So for now, I just keep the Mario blanket on there. Shout out to David Banther. Um, fun fact, that blanket is the first package I ever received in my last house that I lived in, which is pretty cool. And as I said, it's not the best futon. It's not that comfortable. So I sit on this blanket and against that pillow. It's not the most visually pleasing setup, but it works. Got some Nintendo stuff up here. My lamp, which is usually on at night. Works great. And some random Nintendo stuff up there. Some hats, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm um, PlayStation, I'm sorry. PlayStation VR, which I love. To be fair, I haven't used it in a while. It's kind of like a casual pick up and play every few months kind of thing. But for what it is, guys, I'm serious. Incredible, incredible experience. All right. Oh, by the way, I'm very hungry, so my energy levels aren't the best right now. But I will be going to Rudder's. I love you, Rudder's. You know, to get some tacos. Rudder's has excellent tacos. Here's my Emerson Sensi thermostat. Yes, I can control that using my iPhone or Siri or Lex and all that stuff. So it's quite, quite useful. Got some toad figurines. Uh, this is my whiteboard, which I used to use for ideas, but now that I have an office down the street, don't really use that. So for now, it just says, you will always suck at Fortnite. And that's okay. And it's true. And there's my friend Dan's um, signature. Hola should be here this weekend for the Hangout for patrons. So good times ahead. There's my audio engine speakers. Those are not currently hooked up because my gaming setup is pretty much dedicated to audio via my audio uh, interface and my shit stack over there. Yes, you heard me right, shit stack. Okay, so here it is, guys. This is my pride and joy, my gaming setup. I'm currently using the Corsair K55 keyboard. It's okay for what it is. I do have a new keyboard coming. I also have the Razer Ornata Chroma and the Razer Black Widow X Chroma, I believe it's called, in the office down the street. Um, but I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to my new keyboard coming this week from a potential... Uh, future sponsor, which is pretty cool. Dual 27 inch 144 hertz monitors. These are the best monitors that I've ever used from Dell. Guys, I'm telling you, once you exit the world of 60 hertz, you will never, ever go back. Even for things outside of gaming, you will notice right away that your mouse cursor is silky freaking smooth. I cannot express it enough. So, get this, guys. I'm going to link that exact Dell monitor right below. Treat yourself. Okay, I don't want to oversell the monitors, but I am serious, guys. 120 hertz and up, it'll change your gaming life. Anyway, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this setup because I do have a dedicated um, room tour video linked right below, so check it out if you're curious. But I will go over some things fairly quickly. Audio interface, AT2035 microphone, little Kirby thing, my iPad, I was using that during my stream today. There's my wireless Razer mouse, I love it, the best mouse I've ever used. My custom built gaming PC. I do have a portal turret in there, which I knocked over by accident, but I'll pick it up again. Uh, there's a shit stack for my headphones and all the audio processing stuff. Stream Deck, which I never use, but I will. 
again in the future, I promise. Subscribe pillow, consoles, Xbox uh, One, Minecraft Edition, PS4, and my Nintendo Switch, and Switch Dock number two. David, contain yourself. This right here is my G Fuel collection. I have plenty of shakers, plenty of flavors, and if you're curious about my two favorite flavors, definitely, wait, not, not a fruit punch, sour cherry, or cherry sour, I always forget which one it is, basically the cherry sour one, and where's the blue ice, right there, blue ice. Gummy fish is good, but in my opinion, it was kind of overhyped, I mean, it doesn't even taste like Swedish fish in my opinion, but hey, hey it's okay, you know, you know, it's good, it's good. Um, Mac Pro, old Mac Pro, uh, business expenses, uh, extra tech that I still have to open, my umbrella lights. This is the Alex drawer unit that's under the um, Ikea Linman. So these are technically two Linman desks. As you can see, the seam is right there in the middle. Um, and we do have them. I say we because my dad helped me with this. We bolted these desks together with hardware. That way they're kind of joined as one desk. This chair is a gift from my good friend Josiah. Josiah, thank you so much for this. Don't know the exact model, but I know it's from Kinsaw. Unfortunately, it's kind of lost its softness, you know, throughout the past year or so. So for now, I sit on this old blanket, um, and it kind of helps it, you know, improve. I do have a subwoofer down there, which is not getting usage at the moment, but I do have future plans where I will reintroduce actual speakers into my setup, as well as my headphones. And those headphones are right down there. Excellent headphones. I love them. My old Samsung 46-inch TV, I used to use this as part of my gaming setup, but then I got my second Dell monitor, and I don't know, I mean, this will be used for something in the future. And here's my bed. Currently messy. I don't want to disturb Maui. There's Maui, my cat. Hi. Hi, Maui. You're so cute. Here, go key. You want a treat? Yes, he knows what that means. Good boy. Enjoy. Finder pillow. Glitch pillow. Twitch. Sheets blanket. Sheets. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for this. I love it. And of course, my eye shrine with the iPhone 10 up. The iPhone 10 box up top, I should say. Not the actual iPhone 10. And yes, I do have the original iPhone from 2007 right there with the original box, which is pretty cool. This right here beside my bed is my nightstand. Got my HomePod, huge, huge fan of the HomePod. Excellent speaker, love it. I use it every day. Uh, wireless charger for my iPhone 10. excellent. A light that's currently not plugged in because I have a lightning cable taking its place in the outlet. Some files down there, blah, blah, blah. And I think that's it for my room. I mean, I got some random things like an Overwatch thing up there, but. Also, wait, wait hold on, hold on, hold on. This is obviously worth mentioning. My 100,000 subscribers YouTube play button. Very cool, I'm obviously extremely proud of that. Some random glasses and a little sample of blue meth from Breaking Bad. I love this stuff, it's so cool. Excellent show, guys, if you have not watched Breaking Bad, what are you waiting for? I don't know if I wanna call this a room or an alcove, I don't know. But it serves some purposes. Number one, my dresser. Please, for the love of God, ignore the birds. This was handed down from my parents. This is originally, I think, my mom's or my dad's. I'm not sure, but basically my mom went through like a bird phase. And eventually this will be painted over. So, there you go. Got plenty of clothes in there. Clothes down there. Bada bing, bada boom. Got some Nintendo stuff up there, including the Super Mario cereal, which in my opinion is terrible. Uh, but I did buy a brand new box that I will never open, just for collection purposes. Little Apple thing over there. Uh, over here is my networking center, my Airport Extreme, my uh, surfboard modem, Apple Watch charger, cube, which yes, I still have. This thing is a classic, guys. I've had it for so long. And my Android phone collection. Actually, this is my iPhone 7 Plus, which is very dirty. Very, very dusty, I should say. Eventually, I'll put that back on the iShrine. It's just, I don't know, the home button broke because I flipped my bike. Don't ask. And Android phones from LG and Samsung. Love those things. 
just some extra munch packs. <laughs> and right here, a bunch of camera bags, which, yes, do get usage now and then. Right behind me is the bathroom. A little tip for you if you're about to sneeze, just tap your nose, and it usually stops it. Anyway, into the bathroom, guys, which is very bright. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, my house is typically pretty bright because I have daylight bulbs everywhere. I got two right there, two over here, two out there, some in the kitchen, the living room. I love it. Daylight bulbs for the win. So this is my bathroom. Not the biggest bathroom, but definitely bigger than my old bathroom. Got a mirror right here, which could probably use some cleaning, but hey, I'm a dude. I'm a dude. Got me some slack. My little sink area here, a bathroom. Trust me, that is plenty of time because of all the coffee I drank, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Bose speaker, I use this thing daily. Of course, it is wireless. If you want to take it out the charging base, put it back on. Oh, it was. Come on, there you go. Love that thing. And washer dryer, blah, blah, blah. Shower with, yes, a Christmas shower curtain. At this point, I think I'm just gonna leave it on. Hamper and bada bing, bada boom, toilet paper. Okay, you, you guys don't need them to see. Oh, wait, hold on. This is pretty cool. It's kind of trippy, isn't it? Look at that. I love it. And let's go into the attic. The attic is a place you don't really see all that often. This is where I keep all my cables organized. Wow, the acoustics in here are great. And up here, some spare bulbs, the bulbs I was talking about before, the uh, daily bulbs, uh, checks for those rare times I do have to make out a check, you know, for like office rent and whatever. Uh, envelopes, spare bubble wrap, all that stuff, and power adapters, cables, blah, blah, blah. Attic fan, because it gets really hot up here in the summer. Look at all these boxes. This is basically my PC section for like everything I got for my PC. The uh, S340 Elite gray case from NZXT, uh, Kraken X62, my liquid cooler for my uh, Intel chip, and Sega CD collection, empty boxes, old cinema display, boxes for my Dell monitors, I have a ton of storage back there, Christmas stuff, new window back there that my dad repaired because it actually fell out. And it literally fell out of the house, which is pretty crazy. And a bunch of old boxes here for, uh, well, I shouldn't say old, just spare boxes, you know, boxes I might use, like PS4 Pro, Xbox One controller, um, Apple graphics card upgrade, even a spare litter box for those long weekends away at Driftwood, and, and there's Mario from Seaside. And I think he'll be coming out soon, let me just say that. All right, I will take you downstairs into the workshop. Oh, Maddie wants to go up there. But I see no reason to take you down there, because it's just, just a workshop area. And if you watch my weekend vlogs, then you've been down there plenty of times. So guys, there's my house. As you can see, it's a very small house, um, but it serves its purpose. I work here sometimes, I sleep here, I play here. I play here a lot because of Twitch, davidstwitch.com. Follow me, please, I appreciate it. And well, there you go. If you guys have any questions about my house, let me know right below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. Also, one final thing, if you want to buy anything you saw in my bedroom, check out Kit right below. It's always linked there, kit.com slash David Franco. Kit, for those unaware, is basically a website that allows you to keep collections of things you love. From clothes, to video games, to movies, to TVs, to monitors, because God knows I have enough monitors in my life. It's an excellent, excellent website and you can easily link everything to sites like Amazon and Newegg and Best Buy. So please check it out right below. Um, and it's a great way to buy what I buy. I mean, if you want to copy my setup, please do so. I think it's a compliment. Thank you guys so much. Your support means the world to me. Now it's time for me to get some lunch. I'll see you next time. Peace.